Hello, I am Lady Aska and today I want to talk about three things. How to change colors on hair textures, how to make different strands of hair have different colors and how to have the outer and inner part of the hair work with different shades. Maybe you experienced it already. You found the perfect hair preset or texture online on Booth or anywhere else. And the only thing that isn't perfect is the color. With a few little tricks, that can be changed easily. Of course you may know that v has their own color options and that these can now actually be applied on the hairstyle too, but will override the texture to v standard texture. To work around that, you would have to turn the texture into a grayscale image first or change the color outside of v to keep the texture intact. It's best to always work together with some kind of graphic program that is able to work with .png images and transparency. Everyone knows Photoshop, but not everyone can afford it, so I want to show how to do it in GIMP and in Paint Tool Sci. GIMP, for example, is completely free to use and has nearly all the features that Photoshop does. Paint Tool Sci is a one-time payment program but I can nearly guarantee you that every decent image altering program will have a similar option, so once you know how to do it, you will be able to translate that knowledge into any other program. So no worries if you have none of the mentioned programs here. But if you want to check them out, I put the download link, as always, down in the description. Paint Tool Sci. Open your texture image and now there are two options for us. The first is to use the filter Color Adjustment and the next one is to just turn the texture into a grayscale image. This is how you use the color adjustment filter, Hue Saturation. By using the first slider, you change the color, and with the other sliders, you change the saturation of that color, and luminance will change the brightness. With this alone, you will already achieve some kind of color change without losing the texture, and maybe that is already what you want. Next is the Brightness Contrast option. Here you will put the Death slider all down and work with the Contrast and Brightness sliders and this will turn the texture here into a grayscale image. As you may see, the coolest thing about that is that the texture is still intact. If I load now the grayscale image into v Studio, I should be able to have the same effect of the texture but with the benefit to be able to change it to whatever color I want. In v Studio here, there are also some things to consider. As you see, the hair is still red and that's because the shader color is actually overriding the main hair color here. If you deactivate the base color shader, you will see the color you picked for the main hair as long as you activated that. With shade color, you can have this kind of shadow effect and if you turn it off, it will just show the hair with the pickled color and texture. As you may see here, as the texture gets darker, it will show better on the model and will pick less color brightness. And the brighter it is, the more flat it will look like. In comparison, this is what happens if you load a color texture in already. It will deactivate your set color. If you activate the main color again, it will change the shade a bit, but will have not much to do with the color you picked. That's why it may be important to change the texture to a grayscale image first to serve as a blank canvas for your color choice. Also notice that the color that indicates your hair material is always the color that you picked as main color, even though the program may not actually use it right now. Another thing you may have noticed is this little option here when you edit the texture. Color calibration can act like the main color, so you can use that here as well instead of switching to the other screen every time. Now let me show you how to do the same in GIMP for everyone that is looking for a free option. And it actually opens up a few really cool possibilities too. Getting a grayscale image is super easy in GIMP. You go to Image, select Mode and choose Grayscale. No sliders needed. Changing color here is a bit more complex though, but also means more options too. Under Colors you have various choices, one of them being Color Balance. Important is that you can decide between changing only the shadows, the darker areas, or the midtones, or the highlights. These can result in some really cool combinations that you wouldn't have gotten with our Paint Tool Sci example before. Remember, here in GIMP you actually have to export an image to be able to save it into a .png format. 
Now, instead of only having just purple hair, like with what B-Roid Studio managed to do for us, we now have a really deep and well-shaded purple texture. With the Hue Saturation slider under Color in GIMP, we are also able to change the saturation again, make it brighter and overall create some awesome shades without actually altering anything about the texture itself. I highly recommend to experiment with it till you get exactly what you want. How to do different colored strands of hair? Doing different colored strands is not that hard to do. First, you have to select a strand you want to color differently and use a different material. Let's say we want to make it red, but use the same texture. I will use the lighter grayscale template that we created earlier and change the main color to red. Don't forget to also turn the base shader color off. And there you go! We now have a trendy little red strand. Super easy, if you know how to do it. to get the inner part of the hair to have another color than the outer part. Let's imagine you want to use the same texture, but you want the inner part of the hair to be blue for example, and the outer part whatever color you like. The trick here is to only use one side of the texture and make the other one in whatever other shade you want. Here an example. I have here already a texture that is two-sided, but in this case, since it's a grayscale, I would only be able to use the same color in a lighter and darker shade, which is pretty cool, but not exactly what we wanted. To change that, you go into your image editing program, I highly recommend GIMP here, select one side and turn it with the trick that we learned into the blue shade that you want. This is not possible with Paint Tool Sci, by the way, because it isn't able to add color to the grayscale image, since it only applies a filter to the already existing color. You can do that with both sides already here, but I wanted to show what would happen if you decide to leave one half as a grayscale image. Export your image and import the texture into v Studio. At first, it may look like this. And this is where the offset slider comes to the rescue. At the cost that we would have to do that for each strand individually, if we wanted to create a full hairstyle like that. But that's how you do it. I hope you guys create some awesome hairstyles with these techniques. If you want more tutorials like this for v Studio 1.0, let me know in the comment section what you are most interested in and I may pick that as the next topic. See you guys in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful day.